Hello Cancer and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading 9th to the 15th of September 2024 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. We have the Queen of Cups, which is you in the Minor Arcana. I like seeing this in your reading because this will be Cancer for me male or female, somebody in touch with their heart, their emotions, their feelings, and highly intuitive. Queen of Swords. I feel this is likely the same energy, heart and mind energy. The Queen of Swords is about dealing with the truth, getting to the truth, seeing the truth of a situation. She really understands how to get to the heart of the matter and then make choices and decisions. You could also be dealing with the truth here, but then it's where do we go from here? There's a choice, maybe. Sometimes, you know, this can be about, I know I need to look at the truth of this, or I know I need to deal with this. We have the Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. We have the Chariot, which is the card of Cancer again for me as a reader in the in the Major Arcana. Well, is the, is the card your card in the Major Arcana? Um, nice for it to come out in your reading, your Minor Arcana, your Major Arcana here. We have the Two of Cups. It's my bond between two people. Seven of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Lovers. I did look, so I'll put it down. It looks like there's something that you need to look. It feels like the feels like you know that you need to look at something here. It could be in matters of the heart. Let's see what we have. Let's pull a couple more cards. Chariot. It's a card of overcoming difficulties, challenges, obstacles. Page of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Yeah, something, I mean, the Page of Swords is, is information. Learning something, hearing something, could be discovering something here. And it's about taking a step back to reflect in terms of whether you can truly overcome something or not. You know, when we have the Nine of Wands here, Cancer, it can be when we've been tested sometimes, you know. Um, and that makes us question, you know, do I want to keep on battling on, you know, uh, because you sometimes might have been tested one too many times. You could be dealing with something here or, again, the Page of Swords can be a message coming in or information or news or learning something. But that seems it's bringing you some kind of uh, an, an, a necessity to make a, a clear choice on the way forward. Because the Eight of Pentacles is about working through a situation or if you want to continue putting time and energy on this path. So let's pull a card for the Nine of Wands. The Eight of Cups, yeah, it's about walking away. Do I walk away? Let's see what we have in the Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles, starting on a brand new path. This is about cultivating a brand new. 
I mean, for some of you, it might well be a third party situation as well. A choice between two people, one existing, you know, a relationship that maybe you're tested on and you're just kind of like, I don't think, I don't know if, if this is working for me anymore or I want to keep on putting time and energy into this. I mean, maybe something is happening here to bring you to a point where maybe a choice needs to be made because the two of cups can be, it can be a new romance as well, the two of cups. Um... So this could actually be walking away from a relationship that might be testing or difficult and, you know, maybe there's the fact that you've you've tried and you've been trying to persevere on a path and you've overcome issues before, but you're not sure you want to anymore. You know, that's this is the energy at play. There could well be somebody new here. Again, the Two of Cups can also be a friendship, but... This is either the same kind of, this is the sa either the same relationship or for some of you, you might have a new chance of happiness and you're thinking, do I grab it with both hands? Because my current situation isn't working for me. You know, when we get to the Ace of, Eight of Cups and free will, everyone's situation is different, but in a general reading, you know, any reading, when we get to the Eight of Cups, it's, you can see there is a missing cup. It's not the Nine of Cups. You know, um, sometimes no matter how hard we try, you know, it's not everything that we we want it to be. So, you know, whatever the reason is, and sometimes we can be tested, sometimes we can be, you might have overcome issues before. And again, there may well be something else and you're just thinking, you know, when I just get past one kind of hurdle, something else appears in this relationship and I just don't know if it's for me. Queen of Cups gives her heart to the right kind of love, you know, first and foremost. You know, this is the energy at play. So there is certainly an energy here, Cancer, on the potential of either reconciliation and somebody wanting to start over with you, start on a new path, or you might be considering walking away from one relationship and grabbing your chance of happiness, real happiness, um with somebody else on a new, a new path. Something that might feel more solid and stable. This is the dilemma, the, the Ace of Cups is offered, it's where your heart lies. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, but we've put time and energy, I've put so much effort into this relationship, where do I go from here? We take stock of the history that has led to this point. We reflect, that we look at the facts. We also look at our, what we value, what, we, what brings us fulfillment, you know? Um, this feels like the energy here of, of where does your heart lie and making some kind of choice and decision and weighing up the history that you have with a person versus maybe what is testing you, what, is, what has been hard work, you know? and coming to some kind of getting to the very heart of the matter in choosing where your heart lies. The Ace of Cups can be emotional rebirth on a brand new path. So that can be you on your own. It can be embracing emotional re rebirth through reconciliation with your existing relationship. For those of you where this is about, there's the potential of a third party situation here. It might well be that you're deciding, you know, um, is it time? Is it time to, you know, grab my piece of happiness while it's on offer to me? Queen of Swords, bottom of the deck, is getting to the truth of the situation. And like I said at the beginning, Queen of Swords is not afraid to cut cords with things that don't serve our highest good because we, once we see a truth of a situation, it's very hard to, you know, put that genie back in the bottle, you know? Um, I think this is about seeing the truth of a situation and making the healthiest choice for you. Yeah, again, the hanged man, it might well be, there is that kind of sometimes our choices and decisions we can put off, you know, we can leave it, we can keep on letting things play out, but this can sometimes be, I need to get to the very heart of the situation here. You know, for others of you, it just feels like it 
it feels like it's time. And sometimes with a hanged man, it can be linked with a sense of sacrifice in order to, to make the healthy choice and decision for you. It's not always easy, no, the three of swords, again, it can be to do with third party situations, but it can be to do with emotional pain, breakups, you know. Uh, this can be to do with love, you know, the two of cups, my bond between two people. This is either new love or renewing a relationship. And it's a choice in terms of whether this is for you or not, you know. And also, I, are you prepared to sacrifice the existing relationship here and potentially move in a new direction or, or do you want to wait? I mean, this is what I'm seeing here. It feels like such a... With the Queen of Swords energy, I mean, I definitely feel that you are very clear in terms of ultimately either dealing with the truth or making the right choice for yourself or having an opportunity to get to the very heart of the matter here. The lovers is a breakup when it's reversed or it's disharmony, not feeling on the same page. This is can you make an existing relationship work or do I find emotional renewal on a new path? on my own. There's an opportunity to either reconcile or find an emotional renewal path on your own, opening up to a new beginning on your own, or with an existing relationship for others of you. It can also be about breakups and embracing and grabbing your chance of happiness with somebody who is offering that to you, who you feel a, a kinship, a soul connection. I mean, free will cancer, you know, this just feels like a very when it's in touch with our emotions and feelings, and there's a lot of emotional energies here, spirit is really asking you, where does happiness lie for you? And what's your heart saying? You know? Um, because again, I think that then everything else becomes more clear with that. I think it's the, the heart leading the way, and then everything else, all the other energies that we can we can you know, use, can become more clear in making a clear choice or decision. It likely is in terms of whether you break up, and there could be reasons for that. For some of you, you might have been tested one too many times, and something else happens, and you're just kind of like, you know what, I just, I just, I don't know if I want to keep on battling on. Uh, you know, for others of you, like I said, you know, the other areas, new love and romance, or self-love and opening up to a new beginning. Let's pull a message from Spirit. What do we have for Cancer? To finish off this reading, Angel Spirit's Guides. Message for Cancer. We have Receive. It's your time to receive. So we could get some kind of gift from the universe, you know. It, it might well be for some of you that there is some illumination being given to you or spirit is helping you in some way with this. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but it's now, now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. I want to pull one more card for you. Any other message for Cancer? I will pull your oracle messages as well because I've not done that yet. Relationships. Yeah, relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Let's pull you an oracle card. This is the Sacred Traveller Oracle deck. What do we have for Cancer for the week? Thank you. We have Desert Passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Now this can be, the desert can be quite a sparse energy, can't it? 
And is this, there's that kind of feeling here. Someone being death tested and for whatever reason, they're kind of thinking, I just don't know if I want to battle on with this. I'm thinking about walking away. This is what I'm seeing for you here. Bottom of the deck, we have Voyage of the Heart. Love flows through you and to you. Let's get a crystal angel message for you. What do we have for cancer? Message for cancer. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Angel spirits guides. Message for cancer. We have opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. We have, bottom of the deck, gold. Divine intervention. God sends miracles to answer sincere prayers. And I did look again, so I'm going to say it. We have peridot. Life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing they contain. Cancer, that's what I have for you for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed your reading, maybe found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.